Uh, like Alok described, it's a cloud-based product uh, with the latest uh, technology and architecture. So if you look at it, I'm watching videos from our office. I'm not, uh, I can watch videos from anywhere in the world and there is no lag or anything. They're like real-time streaming from anywhere you can watch. I can also go to some of the recorded videos. I'll show you here. Um, I can go to like uh, my videos. I can search by room or I can search by courses or I can also search by some of the indexes. So if I go to my media, I see all my videos. I can search videos globally. I don't have to you see that we also do the transcription of all the videos. So you can search for a word spoken in any of the video within the system. So you don't have to remember a topic or anything. Plus, you know, if I open a video, um, we also create a different scenes, you know, where all the scene changes. Like for example, if you have a PowerPoint, we create automatically all the PowerPoint locations. So you just click on, a, click on one of the thumbnails, you automatically go to the video. And you can also search for a content within a video. For example, if I search for the word virtual, it's going to show me where and all that particular word is found. These, you know, we run all these video images through an OCR engine. So it recognizes all the text located within the video also in addition to the speech content from the video. So, and then, you know, we have like other, all other things, you know, you can see the statistics of all the videos like, uh, uh, you know, where people are more interested. Uh, like 16 viewers started here, but only very few of them completed. And this area looks like not interested to most of the users. So we have a lot of analytics here. What browser, what operating system, what bookmarks they are using, you know, a lot of uh, other statistics. Um, we also have like a, something called like in-video quiz. You can post a quiz or survey which is like embedded within the video. So you have to complete the quiz or survey before you move on to the next stage of the video. Uh, you can go back. And then we have a great analytical engine where it shows like, you know, like I showed you which part of the video is more interested to learners. Uh, that gives an opportunity for the content creator to look at that area and make it more interesting to learners. Uh, we have an assessment module. You know, this is very comprehensive. Um, you know, we have different types of checklists or rubrics you can create and assign to learners and to track the progress, you know, view summary. Um, I can even show you some of the rubric module we're creating. You see this, how the SP evaluation rubric, this is very simple. You know, we have different levels of uh, the evaluation and the point values and the description for each item. So this makes it very easy for uh, everyone to evaluate based on a rubric.